Okay, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a subscriber request. He is a big Lincoln Park fan and he asked me to do either Meteora or Minutes to Midnight. So I decided to rank all seven of their studio albums. So let's get into this. At number seven, at the bottom, I have Living Things. So this one combined a lot of different styles, but it never really hit the mark. Has a big electronic influence on it and has some good rapping by Mike Shinoda. The track Until It Breaks has like an old school hip hop vibe. Castle of Glass has some cool uh, synthesizer effects. And Chester Bennington sounds really good on this. At number six, I have A Thousand Sons. This is their fourth studio album and released in September 2010. It's a concept album about human condition and technology and how it, we're going to be destroyed and things like that. It talks about like our fears about the future, very like Black Mirror-ish. It's a very experimental album, it, more of like an electronic album instead of like the rap metal of their past. The track named When It Come For Me has a lot of uh, computerized effects, reminds me of like those DJs like Skrillex or other ones like that. Another track called Wretches and Kings has some computerized styles and a rap reminiscent of uh, Fight the Power by Public Enemy. At number five, this is the album, their last album, One More Light. I was thinking I was probably gonna like rank this dead last because I never really gave it a chance. I remember they released their song Heavy and I heard it for like 30 seconds of it and I just turned it off. It was just complete pop, there was like 0% metal or rock. But you know what, I gave it a listen yesterday and it is actually pretty good. It has some really good songwriting on it. Chester Bennington sings in like a smoother style. It's not his normal screaming and has some hip hop on it. It has sounds a little old school. There's a track goodbye named the uh, track, and it's reminiscent of like 2000s rap. So it's actually a good album, even though it's more of a hundred percent pop direction on this one. Number four is the Hunting Party. This was released in June 2014. It's a return to their roots. It's the heaviest album. It's a little more in the uh, hybrid theory style. There's some influence of like punk, a little bit of thrash metal. The song Guilty All The Same includes that like classic rap metal style that we know from their first few albums. Another track, War. It's a mix of uh, electronica and punk and metal. This is probably like their most heaviest song. So this one, I, I like this album a lot. Coming in at number three is Minutes To Midnight. Now this is a classic album. It was released in 2007. They're still doing their new metal or rap metal style, but they kind of started to move into like the electronic territory in this one. Now this has some key tracks on it. Um, one of the greatest tracks is Shadow of the Day when Chester Bennington sings with a lot of emotion on this one. I remember listening to this in my car radio back when it came out. And it's really a, a beautiful song. It's not a heavy song, it's more of a ballad, but I read, this was a really uh, melodic. Uh, another song they released as a single, Bleed It Out, that's a little more of a heavier song, but it's a very solid album, even if they do move into the electronic uh, territory in this one. At number two, I'm gonna go with Hybrid Theory. I know a lot of people would probably put this number one. I'm thinking the top two would probably be almost interchangeable. But Hybrid Theory was their debut, and it was such a big album. I mean, it was one of the top selling, if not the top selling album of that year. It's, it's heavy. It's a heavy metal album, but more of like a new metal into a rap metal direction. It has so many great songs. Paper Cut, One Step Closer. The song, In The End, it, it starts with like a piano, but it's a rap, and it goes into a metal territory. This was on the radio all the time. It was probably one of the top songs. This is a solid album throughout. I didn't rank it number one. I think the, the other one, which I'll get into right now. So coming in at number one is Meteora. This is their second album. 
I think it, um, the songs are a little bit stronger. For example, Somewhere I Belong, this is definitely a classic. Um, Lying From You, that's a classic. But the best song in the album called Numb. Now, this is about a person who kind of feels overwhelmed. Like they have someone in their life who is all constantly trying to push them to do better. But in the end, they feel very like criticized and they almost feel incompetent because you got someone trying to turn you into someone who you're not, like they're pushing you. That's why I feel so numb. This is a solid album throughout. This is why I ranked it number one. A comment below, what are your favorite Linkin Park albums? How would you rank the albums? So let me know what you think. Otherwise, I have some more ACDC uh, requests coming in. I'm going to be doing the album Powerage. I might get another more classic ACDC album in. And I should be doing the new album Power Up coming Friday at some time after that. So please like, subscribe if you haven't. Check out my other videos on my channel. I do new releases, classic rock classic albums and things like that so see you later um i forgot to tell you don't forget check out my other videos there down below there's a subscribe button there down there too so check them out see you soon